right guys, it's time for another mini system test with the EST Quick Start. So you'll see the system is normal, which is pretty rare to see on an EST panel. Uh, I have a pull station and a smoke detector on the SLC, uh, so we'll get to that in a second. But I know some of you uh, wanted to see what the inside of the Quick Start looks like, even though I showed it to you before, I'll just show it to you again real quick. So it has the door and the same key, it's a Cat 45 key for both the door and for the panel. So here's the inside. Right here is the dialer card. Right here is the NAT card. Uh, this is the main board. Right here, these jumpers right here, you take aux power and you bring it down into the, uh, these terminals and that's what gives 24 volts uh, to the notification appliance circuit. And right here is the SLC. And then we also have batteries down here too. Uh, and so that's pretty much it. Up here is some relays, RS-232 and some auxiliary power. Or the auxiliary power is down here, but uh, smoke detector power so that's pretty much it inside of there we'll go ahead and close this up and we will get on with the test all right so for the pull station we have my edwards siga 278 and for the smoke detector we have my siga ps for the notification appliance we will be using my edwards genesis horn only with the trim plate this will be doing code three uh, we're going to be testing both the pull station and the smoke detector today. I do have canned smoke. So, turn down your volume. This is going to be loud. Here we go. And now we'll go ahead and use some uh, CRC smoke test. I have smoke centurion downstairs, but this is what I have up here. And we'll go ahead and spray the smoke. And you'll see that the smoke detector is in alarm because the red LED is blinking. When it's in normal state, you'll notice the green LED blinks. All right, so if we look at the panel, we will see that we have two fire alarm conditions. The first one is pull station next to FACP. And the second one is smoke detector above FACP. Uh, you see the screen, like, it blinks. That's just how it is. Um, so yeah, now we've let the smoke detector clear out for a few minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and reset the system. It says pull station twice. I'll have to fix that for the description of it. All right, there we go. System is normal. And alarm history, I got some questions about that. So alarm history is... What it is, alarm history, the amount of times that the fire alarm has gone off on this panel. Um, so I think that's kind of neat that EST has that there. Uh, the date and time are incorrect. I have not fixed that, but I will. And that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions whatsoever about this system or about the panel, please feel free to reach out. Always happy to help. Talk to you guys soon.